There has been numerous updates with the PlayStation Remote Play app. Now you're able to access your PS4 or your PS5 anywhere around the world. And with Apple giving us the ability to have controller support now, things have just got even better. Let's talk about that in today's video. What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. Yes, so in today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your PS5 controllers to your iPad and also how to use them to access your PS5 or your PS4 using the PlayStation Remote Play app. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we're on the iPad. What you wanna do is you wanna go through first how to set this. You wanna go to the App Store. You wanna search for PS Remote Play. You wanna download it and install it. This also works on iPhone and Android. Open and ask you if you have a PS5, I'll ask you which one you want to connect to. If you don't have PS5, you'll just see a PS4. But as I, you see, I have both. So for me, since I'm doing this right now, I'm gonna do a demonstration of the PS5. So you want to tap on it, make sure it is enabled on your PS5 and your PS5 has to be in rest mode. I really want your thing to be turned off because then it can access it. So long, make sure your PS5 or your PS4 is in rest mode. So it shouldn't take too long. If you don't have a PS password on your console, PS4, and everything else, just be able to just go and it should allow to, you know, check the network and everything else. Bam, now I'm here on my PS5. First things first, what you want to do is be able to go on your PlayStation controller. Here's the PS5 controller. As you can see, you want to make sure to first go to settings on your iPad, go to Bluetooth, and you'll see. And you want to put your PS5 controller in pairing mode. You want to hold the create button and the PlayStation button until you get the flashing lights for like three seconds. Now it's in pairing mode, as you can see. Go back over there to your iPad and you'll see dual wireless controller. Tap on it. Now your controller is connected. Then from there, you want to be able to go back to your PlayStation Remote Play app. And keep in mind, you can use this on mobile data. So if you just have your phone with you and you're out and about and you don't want to bring your controller, you are able to use your mobile data. So and as you can see, I'm pushing the buttons with. So you are able to play games such as Fortnite, Gran Turismo. Now I'll show you a little as I'm going right here with the controller in my hand. Do this little challenge just to show you that, you know, it actually does work. Are you able to use a controller with, that has paddles on the back of it? So now I'm going to show you, is it possible to use a controller that has paddles on the back? And this one right here is from Hex Gaming. And this is a normal standard PS5 controller with the extreme rate kit that I added on the back. So I'm going to show you that and let's see if it actually does work. It has controller support to play, you know, some Fortnite, especially if you're on the road. So we're gonna go back to settings. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it with the Hex Gaming controller first. So we're back in settings. Remember you wanna hold the create button and the PlayStation Boom button. So let's see if that works. Oh yeah, it pairs. As you can see, there it is right there, DualSense wild controller. And, and now it's connected. I'm gonna go back to the PlayStation Remote Play app. You can connect, turn back on your console. Controller is connected. Remember, this controller has paddles on the back, everyone, has paddles. So you can be able to please your, you know, if you want to play on an iPad and play your PlayStation games with the Pro Controller, it works. Only controller that doesn't work is the Astro C40. So I want the comment section, yes, the Astro C40 will not work at all. Just letting you know that now. And I can access, you know, Fortnite. So let's see if the paddles will work playing Fortnite. And this PS5 controller is just a regular PS5 controller that I added the extreme rate uh, back paddles to it. So if you want to check out that video, I'll leave a card link at the top. If you want to check out that video, how to install clicky hair triggers and stuff like that. Remember, you do have to make sure your PS4 or your PS5 is in, in rest mode. That way it's able to access your home internet, especially if you're out on the bout. Oh, so the buttons do work. I'm pressing my jump button. They do work. And this controller has four paddles. Yeah, I die. It's so hard to play on and look through the screen of a phone and an iPad, but you guys get the point. The paddles do work 
and this is a hex gaming ps5 controller so it's basically what i was just trying to show up and the way it's because it's streaming and you know, there is like you got to keep in mind there might be a slight delay so if you know if you don't have good connection or internet that way just keep in mind that you know it could be like a slight delay other than that but hey at least i didn't know it works which is pretty great so let's cancel this i put my ps5 back into rest mode and then you know like oh the controller's still on so you know just disconnect the controller go back to settings and the controller that is connected tap on it the little eye hit disconnect that way it turns off the controller well so if this video was very helpful to you and now that you know that you're able to use your a controller on the ipad or iphone or even using android and you can access your ps5 or your ps4 uh, games to play out there anywhere in the world well, if this video was very helpful to you go ahead and leave this video a like if you want to check out my last video of it's elgato hd60x worth it on mac os you can check out this card link that's up here that being said it's your boy brandon coming to you from creating tv and i'm side at it peace